Okay, see this question. Uh, we have two coherent light sources, each of wavelength lambda, are separated by a distance three lambda. These are the two sources separated by three lambda. The total number of minima formed on the line AB, which runs from minus infinity to plus infinity. So on this line, we have to find the total number of minima possible. So that's very easy. So here, here are your two sources, and this is the line. Now, if you look at the uh, bisector of the line PQ. Okay, and if I draw perpendicular from the bisector PQ, then at this point, at this point, the light from P and Q is traveling equal distance. So the path difference over here will be zero. I'm writing the path difference over here. It is zero. Okay. And one more thing. If I take a point over here. Okay. I find the path difference at this point then it will not be zero okay now if I keep moving along this line if when I reach infinity what happens if I draw a line from P which is meeting this line at infinity then the line will be drawn parallel okay the line will be drawn parallel to PQ like this so one light ray is going from P in this direction another light ray from Q is going again in this direction okay and both these light rays will meet the line at infinity okay so i can write over here meets at infinity so for this interference the light ray going from p up to infinity and light ray going from q up to infinity what is the path difference between them they'll be equal to this three lambda only correct let's draw them like this so see, this is one light ray, this is the another light ray. What is the path difference between them? Path difference between them is equal to 3 lambda. So at infinity, I get the path difference 3 lambda. Here I am getting path difference 0. Here I am getting path difference 3 lambda. So while going from 0 to 3 lambda, I will get some points in between where the path difference will be lambda and then path difference will be 2 lambda. Okay. 0 path difference, lambda path difference, 2 lambda path difference at infinity. 3 lambda path difference. This is the maximum path difference possible. Maximum possible. So what are the minimas that I will obtain? I will obtain one minima when there's a path difference of lambda by 2. I'll obtain another minima when there's a path difference of 3 lambda by 2. Then one more minima at path difference of 5 lambda by 2. And after this minima, I'll get again path difference 3 lambda at infinity and I cannot get any more path difference possible so here I am getting 3 minima similarly below also I will get 3 minima ok so 3 minima above point O 3 minima below point O so total will be 6 possible minima ok so answer is 6